Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Java 8 on the Mac operating system and we're also going to be downloading Eclipse which is the development environment we're, be we're going to be using in this course. Along with Java 8, I'm also going to show you how to upgrade to Java 9 because essentially this course is uh, using the latest release of Java which is version 9. And at the time of this recording, which is uh, July 7th, 2017, Java 9 is due to be released in three weeks. But there is an early access download available. I'm going to show you how to configure that with Eclipse. But first, let's get started with uh, downloading Java 8 on this computer along with Eclipse. And then I'm going to show you how to upgrade to Java 9. So if you open your browser and just type in Java 8 download. As a matter of fact, just type in JDK because uh, that's going to be, that stands for Java, Java Development Kit. And search it on Google, it'll take you to the first page, Java SE Development Kit from Oracle. Uh, you want to accept the license agreement and then download it for your operating system. So I'm on the Mac OS. So that's this version right here, Java 8. Let's download that. And it has begun downloading. This will just take a few moments. Okay, so Java 8 has completed downloading. So let me just double click that, open that file up. It's a DMG file for the Mac operating system. And here it is. So just double click this and it's gonna start installing it on our computer. So just hit continue, uh, install, and then you need to put your administrator password because this is actually going to install on the entire computer for all users. So install the software. And there you go, we're done. Hit close and we don't need the installer anymore so you can just move that to trash. So now we should have Java 8 on our machine. If I open the terminal and type in Java dash version, it's going to show Java 8 version which is right here. So this is the runtime environment. If I want to make sure that compiling is also working with Java, I can do Java C dash version to make sure that um, that's this is the same version that's being used for compilation. So the JDK that we just downloaded also brings in the JRE. And what what's the difference between these two? The JRE uh, stands for the Java Runtime Environment. So if when you're when you want to run a Java application, you're going to need the JRE on your computer to run Java applications. But if you want to develop, if you want to code your own Java applications, you're going to need the JDK. So us installing this JDK also brought in the JRE. So not only are we able to develop using the Java language, we are also able to run Java applications, of course. So Java 8 is now on our machine. The next thing we need to be able to develop Java programs is an IDE. So in this course, we're going to be using the Eclipse platform. So let's navigate over to the Eclipse website. Just type in eclipse.org and uh, click on download right here. This is the latest version of Eclipse, which is meant to be compatible with Java 9, um, but we, there, there, since Java 9 has not officially been released yet, there are some tweaks that we have to make in Eclipse for it to work with Java 9. But first, let's get it working with Java 8. I'm going to click on this download button, and this is going to download the installer for Eclipse. So let's click on download, and there we go. The download has been initiated. After a few moments, the download is complete. And that's this file right here, eclipse-inst for the Mac operating system. So let's open that file up. It's going to extract it. And uh, this is the installer right here. I had already installed this previously today while preparing for this lecture. Uh, but this is the file that has been extracted. So I'm just going to double click it and hit open. And we're just going to need this Eclipse IDE for Java developers, the first option there. So let's click on that. And this is the location where it's going to install this application. So just hit install and accept the license agreements. I've already gone through this. I recommend you do the same and just hit accept. And now in a couple minutes, this should be done installing. Just keep in mind the installation folder, uh, which is in my home directory, users slash mtsmod. And then in this Eclipse folder, uh, that's where our Eclipse version is being installed. Okay, and it has uh, completed. Instead of clicking on Launch, I'm going to click on this Open in System Explorer. Uh, and the file that we're going to run to launch Eclipse is one step back. 
So if you click on this option, if we scroll to the left, you'll see where this uh, file is coming from. So it's installed in this uh, folder called Eclipse, and that's in my home directory. And in this folder called Java Oxygen, uh, this is the Eclipse software that we're going to be running. So let's open that up by double clicking it. And it's going to set up a default workspace uh, in my home directory. It's called Eclipse workspace. So let's just hit launch. And there you go. We've got Eclipse running. And if I want to create a Java application, I could just right click, go to new Java project. And then I'll name this uh, project test Java 8. And the execution environment that I want. Uh, we can just click on this Use Default JRE option and then click on Configure JREs. And notice that it's selecting the JDK and the JRE that we downloaded. And that's located in this particular directory. For now, just apply and close so that this Java 8 project runs with this particular uh, version. And hit Finish. And this is our project. So to make sure we have Eclipse working correctly with our Java version, I just want to create a quick and simple program uh, so just follow along. I'm going to right click on the source folder and go to new, select class, and then I'm just going to call this test. I'm going to name it test with the capital T, and then also select this option right here, public static void main. And I'll go over all these options later on in the course, but for now we just want this Eclipse to be running uh, successfully with the Java install. So let's hit finish. And this is our uh, program. So don't get intimidated by all this uh, code right here. This is just sort of boilerplate code that comes when you uh, create a class with the main method. And I'll go over all of these options in great detail as we get to those topics. But for now, I just want to write some code, uh, which is system, capital S, dot out, dot print line, just to make sure that our Java application can run successfully in Eclipse. And in these double quotes here, uh, I'm going to write the word hello world and just hit save save that file and then up here on the top there's a play button uh, press that play button and there we go notice it's it's saying hello world our java application is running successfully in this development environment and we are using java version 8 now for the remainder of this course you're pretty much set and ready to go uh, for the purposes of learning to program in java java version 8 is enough okay and you got this development environment ready. But we're also going to be exploring some topics about Java 9, uh, which is you know much later on uh, towards the end of the course. But since Java 9 is right around the corner, it's helpful to know how to uh, upgrade to Java 9 if you need to. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. This Eclipse software, this development environment we're going to be coding, is very easy to set up for Java version 8. But since Java 9 Early Access recently got released, uh, Eclipse is still sort of catching up. So we just need to make one or two tweaks to make this work with the Java 9 version. But first, let's download and install Java 9 on our computer. So in our terminal, if I type in Java-version, it's showing uh, version 1.8. But I want this to now show 1.9 after uh, I install it. So let's go ahead and download Java 9. But let's open up our browser again. And in a new tab, I'm going to visit the following website, http colon slash slash jdk.java.net slash 9. And this is going to take us to the place where we can download the early access of Java or JDK 9. Um, and we have to select this accept license agreement and we're going to use the Mac OS operating system and that's discovered here, the JDK. When you download and install the JDK, that automatically brings in the JRE as well. So make sure you're in the JDK column, uh, this DMG file. So let's click on that and get that downloading on our computer. This will take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to zoom ahead in this video until this is done. Alright, so it's done downloading. If I head over to this file by double clicking on it, it's going to open that DMG file. Now, when I double click on this, jdk9.pkg, it's going to upgrade to Java 9 on my system. Okay, so before I click on this, let me just close the Eclipse window that I have running. And this is going to be to prove a point in just a, in just a little bit. But let me close this Eclipse. All right, we want to exit Eclipse. So coming over to this file, 
I'm going to double click on it and it's going to start uh, the process for installing Java 9 on my computer. So let's hit continue, install. We're going to need the administrator password because it installs it system wide for all users. And hit install. And there we go. Install succeeded. So now uh, let's move this installer to trash. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to close this. Um, let's just close this eclipse all of these windows that I have open for now. Back in our terminal, if I type in Java dash version now, it's showing something different. It's showing Java version 9. So we have updated to Java 9. And then if I do JVAC Java C dash version, it's going to show JVAC 9. So we're successfully able to run Java 9 applications as well as compile Java 9 applications. So now how do we make Eclipse work with Java 9? As I mentioned, Java 9 is officially releasing in a few weeks time. So the Eclipse platform has not really caught up yet in terms of making it out of the box compatible with Java 9. So we need to make a few tweaks to Eclipse. So let's open that program up. Uh, in the home directory, I have this Eclipse folder. This is where we downloaded Java Oxygen. And uh, this is the file. So let's double click on it. Now at this point, Eclipse may not even start up for you, depending on which version you downloaded. So if you're experiencing any problems, if you see an exception at this point, it gives some kind of error, continue watching this video. I'm going to explain to you how to change a particular file called the eclipse.ini file, which is, uh, which is needed for Eclipse to start up correctly. I didn't have to do it here, but you may have to if your Eclipse does not start. So continue watching up to the point where I explain how to change the eclipse.ini file and uh, those changes should fix this up for you. So Eclipse started up fine for me, and uh, I'm going to leave the default workspace, which is going to contain all of our Java projects. So we'll just hit Launch. Now let's try to write a Java 9 program. The, the one we wrote earlier, notice that it's using the JRE system library version 8. So if I create a new project, right-click and go to New, Java Project. And now instead of it being a Java 8, I'm going to try to create a Java 9 project. And I'll call it test. You can name this whatever, Java 9. And uh, instead of using the default JRE 8, I'm going to click on this configure JRE. And then I'm going to try to add Java SE 9. So let's cl uh, click on search so that it searches through our computer. And there we go. It found uh, JSE 9. Click on that checkbox. And notice that this is... Uh, going to pull JDK 9 at this location. Okay, so essentially we have JDK 8 and JDK 9 on this computer, but we want Eclipse to be working with Java 9. So let's apply and close and just hit finish. So notice that we've got problems, right? If you expand that, notice that the JSE 8 uh, is gone because we're now trying to uh, compile this code. We're trying to run this code using Java 9. And we've got a problem here in Eclipse. So let's close this old file. I'm going to uh, expand this new uh, test Java 9. Right click here and go to new class. And I'll just call this test uh, 9. And then we'll select this option right here. Again, I'll go over all of these in great detail uh, as we move forward in this course. But right now we're just trying to configure Eclipse to work with Java 9. So let's hit finish. And there we go. Eclipse is having problems. Notice all of these X marks and uh, underscore underlines in, in red. Uh, it's just not going to compile our code. So we need to do two things to fix this problem. One of them is adding a particular configuration uh, to a file that's involved with, with starting up Eclipse. And that is uh, that actually resides where we downloaded Eclipse, right here. Uh, if you right-click this file, and this is specifically for Mac users, so if you right-click this file and go to Show Package Contents, it'll take you into the secret area of Eclipse, okay? Uh, behind the scenes, the folders that are involved in this in this program. So click on Contents and go to Mac OS. Whoops, not Mac OS, it's Eclipse. And uh, there's this Eclipse.ini file. We need to make changes in this file. There's just a single line that we have to add in there but uh, it's important that we do. So right click here, go to open with any text editor. I'm using Atom, so I'm just going to open that up in uh, this Atom software that I have here. It's just a text editor. 
And all the way at the bottom of this uh, configuration file, let me move this up so that you don't miss anything. All the way to the bottom of this file, uh, we're going to need to add a particular line. And that is dash dash add dash modules equals java.se.ee. Okay? Not important to go over why we need this for now, uh, but it's essential that we have it. So save this file and just close it. Okay, so now we've made modifications to this eclipse.ini file. And as I explained earlier, for some of you, Eclipse may not even start up until you make changes to the eclipse.ini file. So I just showed you how to do that. So if you're one of those where Eclipse was not starting up earlier, uh, make those changes to the eclipse.ini file and then start Eclipse. The next thing we need is uh, to download some support software that will enable Eclipse to work with Java 9. And you can do that right here in the help menu. Uh, go to install, uh, excuse me, Eclipse Marketplace. Click on that, and then in the search box here, as soon as it's done loading, in the search box, we're gonna type in Java 9 support. And just hit go. And the first option here, Java 9 support beta for Oxygen 4.7, that's the IDE that I have here. Um, hit install and now it's going to start installing the components that will enable Eclipse to work with Java 9. You can accept the terms and agreements and hit finish and now uh, down here let me up this uh, notice it's saying installing software and uh, it's pretty much done so we need to restart Eclipse for this to work properly so let's restart now and let me make this window large again and we can close this welcome screen and there we go now you don't see those errors if you expand this project notice that it's using the JRE system library Java SE 9 okay so if you got to this point you've got Eclipse configured working with Java 9 and before this I also showed you how to uh, download and install Java 8 on your Mac operating system and you notice that it works right out of the box with the current version of, of Eclipse. But for Java 9, we had to make a few extra tweaks because Java 9 has not officially been released yet. It's you know going to be released in the next three weeks and it's going to work essentially exactly the same. Uh, but you know uh, Eclipse uh, needs some catching up to do. So that's why we had to install that extra software within Eclipse for it to be compatible with Java 9. Now, frankly speaking, for this course, uh, the material that you learn in terms of programming, uh, there's virtually going to be no difference between Java 8 and Java 9. There are a few small differences that I'm going to cover later on towards the end of the course, but for the most part, you're going to be fine even if you have a Java 8 um, Eclipse running. Okay. When it's time to talk about the differences between Java 8 and 9, that's going to be way towards the end of the course. Uh, and frankly, the real difference between Java 8 and Java 9 is that um, there's just a lot more house cleaning that took place with this latest version of Java 9. It, they made it more modularized and exposed some extra utilities uh, to make programming a bit more modern, so to speak. And, and you'll know what I mean by that uh, when we talk about J Shell. But that's going to be, you know, in a later chapter. But for now, you should be ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the remaining chapters.